What's up, people? Uh, Mike here. And this is uh, Chapter 10, The Berlin Catacombs, on the uber difficulty for Wolfenstein the New Order. So at the very start, if you run back here, uh, you can get some armor before you uh, progress forward. Uh, you really don't need the armor until about halfway through this mission when you get to uh, the point when you need to steal the train since uh, the first part you really don't if you do it stealth you don't really need to worry about having armor it's when you need to open the door where the the heavy with the the turret gun comes out of that you want to have uh, a good amount of armor and full health at the same time. Um, so this beginning part with this uh, this underwater uh, boat thing, I don't even know what you want to call it. Uh, it it handles weird at first. Um, I pretty much found just using the right stick worked better for navigating it than trying to use the left stick. Um, since the left stick mainly uh, controls going up and down, but if you you can pretty much do up, down, left, and right with the right stick, so it. It actually makes navigating it a lot easier than trying to use uh, the left stick, but that may just be me. I'm not really sure. Um, and uh, I don't know if you can take damage from that thing falling on top of you when you cut it open. Uh, I've always swam out of the way just in case. Um, I I like to think that you don't take damage from it, but at the same time, you know, video games they they can be like, oh hey, you know, you got hit by this very heavy structure. Um, even though you shouldn't take damage, yeah, would not take some of your health away. So I would just be careful, just to be safe. So when you get up to this area, um, this control uh, works on both of these fans. Um, if you're going for the collectibles, uh, going through the second fan, uh, there's a, I believe it's a gold item through that second fan. But. Um, if you're just trying to get through, you just need to hold that thing until the the wide open part of the fan is underwater. And uh, when you come through here, um, if you swim down all the way to the bottom of this area, uh, this is where the the locker contains the next health upgrade. Um, I find it funny that. We're in water, and yet we just hot-wired a control panel. Um, last time I checked, electricity and water are not good to be together. Um, it's one of those weird times where it's like, oh, hey, video games, but it's like, oh, hey, you know, water and electricity, what the fuck? Um, it, maybe it's just me, but I... I found that odd that 
not only was I able to hotwire the thing underwater, but there wasn't any consequence of holding two electric wires underwater. It, it doesn't matter how weak the electricity is, it's still electricity. Uh, but, you know, like I said, oh hey, video games, you know, they, they decide what what rules to follow and what rules not to follow, so. Oh, when you get to here, uh, just jump right into the water. There's nothing on these two platforms, and all you really end up doing is taking some health away or some of your armor. Um, I'm not really sure why I thought jumping onto that platform was a good idea. Um, and here you get to see me kind of fight the current trying to cut this this cable. But also not be like directly in front of the thing. Um, since I'm pretty sure if you're... I want to say if you hit that thing it probably will blow up and kill you. Um, I I never let the thing like hit me or swim into it to test that theory. Uh, maybe when I go back on chapter select as I go to pick up the loose collectibles I didn't get, I'll I'll swim at that thing and just see what happens. Um, So that door right there is the door if you're on the wire timeline that you uh, pick the lock and that has the armor upgrade. So when you get to the top of this elevator, uh, as you can see from that flashing box, uh, that's the next upgrade for the Type 7. Uh, it's the, the Tesla upgrade, I forget exactly what, what it actually does. Um, and that moment when you get on the elevator and you use the weapon to charge the elevator for it to move. I believe that's the only time in the game where you where that moment happens. And I almost feel like they should have used that uh, a couple more times in the game, um, where you where you use uh, the battery of the gun to uh, to progress into like the next area. But coming into this area, this is uh, the actual point in the mission when you actually have enemies to deal with. Uh, you'll see a bit of a, an edit as you'll... I, I died once here and then I fucked up and, got, and uh, had both commanders alerted to me. So I ended up just restarting checkpoint to go at it again. 
Um, when you come up here, depending on how quickly you, you move, you might be able to catch this commander uh, before he's farther down. Uh, don't shoot him first. Uh, use the crosshair to line up your shot for the commander that's on the stairs. Uh, as soon as you see the crosshair turn red, like by his head, just take a shot. The game should give you the headshot. It, I've never had it not give it to me, but uh, killing the farther commander first, uh, somehow the other commander won't notice him die. But if you shoot the first commander, um, the other one that's on the stairs, he just immediately will notice it and uh, he'll start calling for reinforcements. So. But once you kill these guys, I believe that there's only one soldier left now in this area. I think he's walking around by like the train or something. Um, can't completely remember. Um, you can run to the train but then you'll get told like oh you need to change the tracks for the train. Um, And this is me trying to figure out like where this guy is. But I'm also like going to the door that I know where I come out of. I'm like, oh, I do have to open that door that has that heavy guy coming out of it. I was hoping I was going to be able to like bypass having to face that guy, but um, you you basically have to deal with him to move on um, I actually got lucky and that guy was all the way down the other end instead of being closer to where I was um, but that guy sh that sh should be the last guy I don't believe that there's any other guys walking around down here um, But once the area is clear of enemies, um, instead of going to the train, just go to the door. Uh, this is me not realizing where I need to go, not realizing that the the door that you have to open is uh, back to my left now. I'm like trying to figure out, I'm like, where is the control? And I think about now is when I'm like, oh, I got, I, I do have to fight that, that heavy with the turret gun. Um, I was actually trying, you'll see, I, I try to avoid having to open that door by trying to jump up onto the catwalk, but, uh... Unfortunately, it, it, it doesn't work out. Uh, they base they make it so that you have to open this door to uh, the face this uh, this heavy. So like they have these boxes stacked up so you think that you'd be able to like get away with jumping over there, but it's just low enough where the jump won't uh, work. But as soon as you see him starting to open that thing, immediately get off the 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 handle and get in the cover. Get out the Type 7 and just fucking unload on this asshole. Uh, you come this way being that there's a battery here. Um, you should be able to charge it back up before he comes around to start shooting at you again. Um, now once he's dead, um, and you open this door to go to hit the switch to change the tracks, 
when you come out the door, uh, one of these train cars has, I believe it's one of the robots in it. Uh, you don't have to fight it. Um, you can just run right to the train, hit the handle, or hit the switch on the train, and you can immediately end the chapter. So you can avoid the unnecessary battle with the robot and the bunch of soldiers that spawn with it. Um, I'm breaking open these boxes just to show you if you want to be ballsy and try and take on the robot and the soldiers. Uh, there's plenty of boxes with ammo and health and armor that you can uh, stock up on, but I would just not suggest doing it. And um, Just hit the switch, go through the door, immediately just jump, don't even go down the stairs, just jump over the railing and just run for the train and uh, hit the control and just end the mission and uh, I will see you in chapter 11